Welcome to the 19th hole on the 18th hole of yeah. Port Ferry. Oh, next to the 18th hole. Yeah. I'm already going to be overlaying drone footage over the top of this, so you won't see us anyway. But yeah. what? I, I'll say it because I'm going to bleep it out. What a fucking awesome day! Oh, mate, I've had a ball. Like I've been, as you know, a few, a few health issues going on in life, and yeah. I've been in a bit of pain today, and I just have not given a crap. <laughs> I've, boy, I've hit like drives. 300 meters downwind and then i've hit like ones that have gone 10 meters in the wind <laughs> you know like i've just put them everywhere shots all over the joint but we're back at port ferry yeah i know it's 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 if you don't know and i've, I've said it at nauseum that we um finished our high school years at port ferry here yeah the course has changed a lot i know i could speak at nauseum about this course right oh. but it has changed quite a bit. It has. Some for the better, some for the worse. Oh, I want to start off with the, the better. What do you think has improved since like the last 20 years when we haven't played it? <sighs> Shit. Um, I, I, I actually really enjoyed the whole lot. Yep. Um, yeah, there was there was like a few spots like um, I used to aim for trees or, you know, you'd try and get down into, my, into the trees because you're out of the wind. Yep. Um, things like that around greens, you know, you sort of have backstops and I think you said it at one stage, it looked like you had your own little amphitheatre around a green, you yeah. know, surrounded by trees. That's gone, but in saying that, that's opened up views of the whole course of the yep. ocean. There's, yep. You're getting more ocean view now. Um, you know, the marron grass is less. So yeah, I mean, the Arco lost a fair It's more a forgiving, few, yeah. I've lost a few balls today in it, but it's, you know, it's still, yeah, it's more forgiving. It was but, just, yeah. so yeah, it, it, it's gone either way, but I mean, it's still a great, I actually think it's better than what it was. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm conflicted because I, it, don't get me wrong, it's, it's amazing. It Gosh, is absolutely amazing. Yeah, sensational. Um, they've taken a lot of trees out, like there was trees down the first and there was between the first and the second. And what, what it used to have for me was that each hole felt like its own individual thing. Yeah. Um, and now they've gone the opposite direction. They've taken all those trees out and made it into an expansive course, which is fantastic for the views. And it's it's true to what it is. And it's a it's golf a links. links, Port Ferry Golf Links. So yeah. from that aspect, it is amazing. Um, but I do kind of miss that little bit of amphitheater feel of, yeah. of your, you're on this hole, no one else can see, and it was sort of uh, by yourself. Yeah, yeah, no, that's exactly it. Now we had, um, there's a couple of times we sort of stood back and went, wow, how much better has this gotten? Yeah. Like, <laughs> You know, this is just, yeah, it was just incredible. There's, um, we've probably played this course like a hundred times and um, I sort of alluded to it last week. So I will, I will indulge myself a little bit here. Like I, and I put some photos up because, I, so I won the club cup back in 90, I want to say 97, 98. Last time you played a decent game of golf. Yeah, thanks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and I never actually got to hold the trophy because the trophy stays in the clubhouse and I actually miss the night that you have where you come in and actually get yep. presented with it. So um, Anthony was nice enough to take me out to the back where the, where the trophy now sits yep. and I held it and got a photo and hopefully I'm overlaying it right now. Um, interesting story about that club cup. The qualifying rounds were just, I, I had the worst game of golf ever and it was windy and raining and terrible. It was poor fair. Yeah, and I somehow managed to qualify and I was just shocked. And then in the first qualifying, I had a probably better eight to nine meter putt on the 16th to stay in it, and I nailed that putt. Somehow managed to tie it, went to the third playoff hole after losing my ball out of bounds, and I managed to win it. And then in the final, I was down four shot, four holes, sorry, because match play. I was down four holes after the ninth hole, and the guy I was playing against just kept missing the, every part, like burn the hole, burn the hole, burn the hole, and it went on the 17th in hail and rain. It was, it was just, it was one of those things, I don't know if you had it in your life, where it just, was just meant to be. Yeah. Um, and I've never won anything since. Yeah. Well, that was my time of shine. You haven't really been in any golf comps since either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've tried to avoid them now. I won one, stay up. Yeah, yeah well, that's it. You've retired on a win. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, nah, look, it was, that was a good thing for you to come and see that trophy. We, 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 I will admit, we walked in and we tried to find your name everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Eventually you found it, so that was good. But, no, nah, look, um, for what this course was back, back back in the day to what it is now. Yeah, it was twelve dollars for a round of golf for an adult. And yeah. I used to pay forty bucks a year for membership. Yeah. There was no pro shop. No, it was you could walk out here any time you wanted and just play. Yep. Um, it was just it was and winter. Like, I know we said it a couple of times. Don't come here during winter. Sometimes you can get a lot of still weather down here, and we don't know it's coastal area and it is windy west coast and blah 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 and all that. You do sometimes get the cooler days and you don't get much wind. And if you can get one of those and sunny out here during winter and fall for you, you're going to have the day of your life on this course. It is unbelievable. When it's well, like I mean, that. kind of like we had today, and we decided today to both sit down together and do the signature hole. 
because yeah. we couldn't we couldn't just have one of us do it. It no, needed to be a joint effort. Was, the fourteenth is just it's it's unreal. It is the one of the toughest holes I've ever played. Oh, and it's a it's a postcard. In hole saying like, that, we used to, and you said it in the in the review or in the hole. You can almost count how many times you actually land on there for two in one or two hands. Yeah, but we've quite easily both done it quite easily today. Well, I didn't do it easily, but let's have a look and see. This is it, the 14th hole at Port Ferry. I am so excited. This is my favourite course in the world, and this is by far its hardest hole. The 14th hole, it's 408 metre par four. You've got death to the right. You've got basically death to the left too. But, I mean, look at this view. You're at the top of the course. You've got Port Ferry in the distance, ocean around you, the whole course at your feet. It's just amazing. Driver in hand, you've basically got no choice. Unless you can really smash your three wood a long way, you basically got to hit driver off this tee to have any chance of reaching it in two. Really, really good players will be able to put down the hill at the end. I'll be happy with just a fairway. That's going out to the left. I don't know. I don't know how I fade that into the wind, but I'm going to have a long, long shot into the green for the second. So I'm going to jump in too because, like, let's face it, poor fairy, it's a fourth eighth, and this is too good to miss this hole. So I'm feeling a bit confident at the moment. I'm actually going to try and cut that corner a little bit, not like Trevor. He went way over the other side of the fairway. He's got his nice what, second-hand Talon Mate M1, but it's brand new for Damien. I'm loving it too. Thank you, Luke. That is smashed. He smoked it, but it's got a little bit left. Well, I'm way left, isn't it? Top it's of the hill. Long. Stop, stop. Now, knowing from history, that hill up there is actually a really good spot to be standing at. So I left myself with, we work, I reckon about 200 metres to the green. Very, very hard from this spot to see, because I can't even see the green. There's even a big tire on top of a, tree, a pole, and I still can't see that either. So I'm gonna go and throw it up in the wind, just go down that. Like Hit it really well, it's just gone left. It's on, is it? Wow, well I was aiming in the wrong spot, so that was a really good uh, result. So I got about 130. I got very lucky and stopped just short of the, the Marin. Uh, I'm kind of getting used to hitting out of the rough today. Oh, I'm on as well. We're going to have a putting competition, I guess. So, if you know this golf course at all, you know that reaching this green for two is an achievement in itself. I can't, I can't, I probably count in my hand how many times that I've hit this green for two. I got very lucky because I couldn't even see where I was going in the second shot, but we've got a nice little putt off here. Now mercifully this, this is actually a reasonably flat green compared to the rest of the course because it's such a long hole, they give you something. So all day, I've been allowing for a break that hasn't been there. I've luckily been able to get these, these second putts in. But now that I've said that. I am so happy to par that hole. Over to you, Damien. Oh no, so now it's my turn. I don't know if you can hear on the mic, but 
putting in the head wind. You think doesn't affect the ball much, but I have been putting like shite today. And that is, oh you! So like I said, I've been putting like shite. Not one of those has dropped all day. I've only had three, mind you, that have done that. That was a fantastic putt. I just wanted to beat Trevor on a signature hole for a change. But that is actually my first time I've part a signature hole. Two pars in that hole too, that's pretty good. Two pars, so that's the 14th hole here at Port Ferry. Probably one of the most picturesque holes that we've ever played anyway. Um, get Seriously, get down to Port Ferry. Come down here and have a holiday. Awesome fishing, awesome surfing. It's a great little town for the kids. There's heaps of things to do. And you get to play one of the best courses in Australia. Guarantee it. So that was the 14th at Port Ferry. I cannot believe we both parred that hole. Yeah, no, that's a rare, I don't think that's ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> and and, I, and I, in all honesty, because if you, if you watched our live stream of the 12th hole, yep. and you saw me balloon two shots out into the crap and not part, not, not finish that hole, and you, yeah. you parted it, didn't you? The no, but did um, You probably wouldn't believe that we actually, I, or me at least, parred that hole, but it was legit. Yeah, I mean, that was the thing. Like, you, you had the, yeah, okay, you had that bad 12th. My tee shot, I will admit, my first tee shot, I, I hit out into the crap. But then I teed up a second ball and you know, end up smashed it. Yeah, smashed it. I birdied the hole. Yeah. We we never would have taken on the thirteenth green with, with drivers. Yeah. Back in the days, so like we would have hit like a, a five iron or a six iron down there and given ourselves a hundred meters in. Yeah. What is it? Two hundred and seventy-eight yeah. meter par four, and yeah. I was pin high and you were past the green. Yeah. I, we both. Well, yeah, we're both up there. You know. Yeah. Um, so we had good chips for uh, eagles there again, and birdie putts. But I know you birdied that one. Yeah. And that. So like that section, that's that stretch, 12, 13, 14, and even 15th for you. Like they've changed to 15th, it used to be just straight, but now you go over and you actually further into the sand dunes. Yeah. Too. And it's, that's just changed that hole dramatically. It's a lot longer. There's no backstop anymore, like yeah. there used to be. It used to be a big hill that you could roll the ball back onto the green with. Not anymore, <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I chunked, unfortunately I chunked my one there. Well, I ripped a four iron into the middle of the green, so I was pretty stuck with that. Yeah, I, I tried to just baby one down there with the wind and it didn't work. <laughs> Never baby it. No. Speaking of sand dunes, the, how the, we get out of this episode today. It's uh, out of a sand dune. It was out of a sand dune. We've done a couple out of the sand, but this one was a, quite a big chasm and a fair way back from the green. And I wanted to sort of show, and we do these, and we're like you, we're average golfers. So kind of, sometimes they're just fun, like to show you, like this is a really crap spot to be in. Yeah. Well today, while I was in a crap spot, let's check it out. Welcome to another How The Dog Air, this episode. This is probably a 50 meter bunker shot. I'm at the 12th hole here at Port Ferry. This is a really, really daunting shot. Because it's so far to carry, I think I'm gonna go with a pitching wedge. And I mean, I don't know about you guys, bunker shots, but if I get them out, I'm pretty happy. But what I'm, what I'm trying to do is not have such an open club face and just close it a little bit and see if I can get it to carry a little bit further than it would normally with a normal bunker shot. All right. And Damien's standing in front of me, so he may well die here. That's rolled a little bit. It's a, actually, it's a really, really. If you get that clean, it's gonna go flying over the back of the green. So I am really, really stoked to get the ball basically on the green from way back here. That is a rather difficult how the to get out of this episode. Thanks for watching. So that was how the we get out of this episode. Yeah, that was a good shot. That rolled out quite well, that. I was disappointed because I thought if I was a little bit, little bit harder, it would have gone up on the green, but. To be honest, but then again, those... you could have hit it a bit harder and skinny it and it wouldn't, yeah, wouldn't have true. got out of the bunker. They're some of the hardest shots to do. you just got to take what you get out of it, to be honest, sometimes. Um, but the bunkers are pretty consistent around here, so it was really it, was, it wasn't was yeah. that hard to hit out of. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I found myself in a few, as I generally do for some unknown reason. <laughs> I find myself in a fair few bunkers from time to time. But, um, you know, we found, I found myself today, oh, what, I almost chipped in on the 17th. You said put, chip one in and I missed it by... <laughs> yeah, an inch or so. so. I'll show you the top face. Yeah, didn't see um, the review. Yeah, that was. I mean, that would have been awesome if that one went in. But they, they're just the nice, fluffy. They're probably not as good as Q, but I mean, they were exceptional. Well, this is this is this is the crux of it now. Is that we were at Q, yeah, and we both said we actually said sorry, Port Ferry, but this is our favourite course. I said it's our course. Did you? Yeah. Right. Well, I'm sorry, Q. I loved you, but 
Port Ferry. Yeah, for it's, so many it's reasons. It's woken the beast back inside. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Oh, it, it was. It was. It is kind of like a time warp coming here for us, but yeah. at the same time, it's discovering something all brand new. Well, that's that's how I, a few times that I call myself to sink in the times when um, even like not actually playing golf, but I'll like up on the twelfth. Um, and I was we were doing the live feed, and someone wrote a comment saying, "You know, two of my, my favourite things: golf and surfing." Yep. Yeah, you know, I'm my two favourite things: it was surfing and then golf. And you know, I spent God knows how many hours out in the water out here. You know, um, just playing away and surfing away out there. And you know, I find myself doing that. And I think I said to you a couple of times, you know, you'd sit up, I used to walk out on all these rocks out over here, and I'd go over to those rocks there, and yep. You know, go fishing all the time. I've had caught sharks out here. It's just it's a really great place yeah. to holiday. Um, even, even just Warnable or Port Ferry, that you can't really go wrong with either of them. And Warnable's got a great golf course that we have to get to soon as well. Yeah, we're well, going to do that like probably next month. But um, it's it's a really great holiday destination. If you haven't been down here, like, I can't I can't stress it anymore. Get down here, and what a fantastic place for our fiftieth yeah. review. Yeah, that's it. And what's even better is for us. And so for you guys, this has all happened. But now, for us, it's two days away from us going to Tasmania. Yeah. So this so, is the end of our Victorian adventure for a little while. Yeah, so the next, well, f- at least five. Four to five weeks. Five weeks are going to be coming from Tassie. Maybe even six. So we're going to have a doco and all. Yep. It's but going to you be would have seen that. So I don't know why I said that. Well, you might have seen it. You might not have. No. If you haven't, check out our YouTube page. <laughs> and if it's not there yet, come back when it's there and watch it you'll love it <laughs> is that confusing i think it's confusing i'm confused you know what you do press the bell and that way you always know yeah that's and it. this is the thing what well, people always i hear beginning comments saying oh, i missed the live stream today from the course and i wish i had seen it if you press the bell you get notified and your phone yeah. tells you we're going live i'll get notified straight away when we go live <laughs> that annoys me <laughs> but we're gonna we, we love to do it from the course it's all dependent on obviously the signal yeah um yeah. but we've got a way now where we can do the phone and the uh, other camera at the same time so it, 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 we can double up and it's, it's really cool and we love that instant feedback like we were also getting a bit of stick on the golf course from a guy i used to work with on the 12th that was a bit of fun um ozzy yeah. joe popped into the comments it was good yeah. to see him yeah no it was in uh, no, the 12th hole was I mean, you could you could throw a blanket over probably six holes that you could use. As a oh, of course you can. The eighth is one of them. The eighth, um, the short par three. Even this, like the eighteenth, it's four hundred and eighty-four metre par five. Yep. Predominantly, the winds come from the west, so that hole you're hitting in or headwind all the whole way. So that four hundred and eighty metres turns into five hundred and forty <laughs> metres like that. Like, I hit, what? I hit pretty bad first shot. Um, I hit actually three really bad first shots. Um, but I mean, you're, you skied yours and you crunch your second one and we'll still 200 metres away. Do you know what I'm going to say? I hate that hole. It's, I don't I, hate I, it. They put water in there. That made it even harder. It's, <laughs> it's, this is, I've got to say, this is my favourite course and as my least favourite hole. And I, that's, so you it, just can't, it's, I just it's can't impossible. Do it. if, if you actually do get an easterly, Come out and play because you're gonna get a downwind on the 18th for a change. And it, the hole's let me know how it is because it's rare. The hole's completely in my head. Like every other hole, like even the, like the fifth is a similar length and it's uphill and it was into the wind. No problems. No. Walk on this hole and there used to be trees down each side of the fairway, so it was tighter. But now that it's so wide, yeah. I stand. It's almost like a driving range where you go. Yeah, you know, I don't actually know where I'm hitting here. Well, you hit over the old driving range now. Yeah. Like we used to. We, we teed up and like you hit over a little swamp and. Yeah. We used to walk around through the swamp <laughs> during winter collecting golf balls. So <laughs> I can honestly say, favourite course, least favourite hole. Yeah. No, it's. Uh, There's nothing wrong with the hole. It's, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing wrong with the hole. It's, it's, just, it's all me. It's all me. It's. It's just a long hole and it's it's very hard into a headwind. And it's the, and end, it, of the, and it's the end of the round. The end of the round when you're fair cooked too. Yeah. Like we're in a cart, but you know, like I say, I've got a few other health issues and that, and I was pretty well dead. But do you know what? Can they make it a 19 hole course and just have finished with a two par fours or a par four or a par three? That'd be not. I could deal with that. Well, why don't they make the 17th a par five and make that a long par four? It might even be easier. Oh, it's, either way, it sounds hard. <laughs> uh, anyway, no. Nah, look, you you can't rate this course highly enough, and you've got to come out here and get out of Melbourne, get out of freaking New South Wales, anyway. Whenever you do, just if you're on a holiday, come down holiday down here in Port Ferry, and come out here and play golf. And they're constantly improving it, and it's going up higher and higher up the ratings every year. So yeah. it, you can't let, you can't slip in this one. It's it's, it's nah. well worth the time. Yeah, it definitely is. Now we have a chicken parma to get to. Ooh, oh yes. So I'm very, very excited. And a Damien is yawning again, which is always a sign no, that the show's over. That's only my second one. So. <laughs> it's the sign that the show's over. So yes, no, that's, we're, we're going to end it there. Yep. Happy we, days. We had an amazing time and 50 reviews. I'm so stoked. Yeah. And it's Thank gone you by to you like guys that. too for you know, supporting us this whole time. 
um, and yeah, just backing us and letting us do what we want to do. And that's bring you guys through on have you know wonderful journey through golf courses around Australia. Keep it coming and keep your ideas coming too. If there's anything yeah. we're not doing that you'd love to see us do, let us know. Yeah. And keep an eye out. Well, you yeah, keep an eye for Tassie because we're going to Tassie and I can't wait. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.